Good afternoon, students and parents, and welcome to our district spelling bee. I would like to introduce myself. I'm the I'm Dwayne Main, Dr. Dwayne Main, the director of teaching and learning for Arlington Heights School District 25. And first and foremost, I want to congratulate uh, all of our finalists because I know that all of you have worked extremely hard to get to this point, and we are so excited to have this opportunity. The winner of today's spelling bee and the first two runners up will be invited to move on to the Scripps Regional Spelling Bee in February. I want to begin by introducing our Spelling Bee officials. We have Jeff McHugh, who currently serves as our teaching and learning facilitator within the district. Jeff is going to serve as our pronouncer. We also have Mark Goldstein, Mr. Mark Goldstein. Mark Goldstein is one of our language arts teachers at um, Thomas Middle School. And he also serves as one of our spelling bee coordinators. And we also have Jennifer Kopecki, who's also one of our spelling bee coordinators. And she also serves as one of our language arts teachers uh, as well. I wanted to take a few minutes to share the procedures for today's spelling bee. So students, I'm going to need you to listen very closely. The spelling bee is going to be conducted in rounds. Each speller remaining in the bee at the start of a round spells one word in the round. When it's your turn to spell a word, walk up to the microphone and face the judges. You are encouraged to pronounce the word before spelling it and after spelling it. Please make an effort to speak clearly with enough volume to be understood by the judges. You may ask the pronouncer to say the word again, define it, use it in a sentence, provide the part of speech, provide the languages of origin, and or provide alternate pronunciations if available. It's okay to begin to spell your word, go back to the beginning, and retrace your spelling as long as you do not change the letters or the sequence of the letters from your original attempt to spell the word. So here's an example. Your word is carefree. You begin to spell C-A-R-F and you realize you left out a letter. You go back to the beginning and spell C-A-R-E-F-R-E-E. -E. This response would disqualify you because the letters were changed in the respelling. Are there any questions about that rule? Okay, great. If you miss a word, please wait until the round has been completed before moving away from the competition area. At the, comp at the completion of a round, we will ask you to shift your seat to fill in the empty seats, but please remain in the same numerical order. So here are the end of the B procedures that you need. Please listen up. If all spellers in a round misspell, we continue with a new round without eliminating any contestants. If one speller in a round spells correctly, he or she must continue to a final one word round. If that word is spelled correctly, the student is declared the champion. If the one word round is missed, we continue with all remaining contestants to another round. And finally, we ask our audience in the back to remain quiet during the rounds out of respect for all of the uh, finalists or contestants. Students, do you have any questions regarding the rules for the spelling bee at this time? Okay, we're going to begin with a warm-up round. And don't worry, if you misspell a warm-up word, you will not be eliminated from the bee. The purpose of this round is really to give you an opportunity to walk through the procedure before we officially begin the spelling bee. And I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Jeff McHugh. Number one. Remember, this is just the warm-up round, so if you miss it, no worries. 
the word is aura. A U R A aura. Nice job. Number two. Travesty. T R A V E S T Y. Winnow. Winnow. W I N N O W. Corduroy. Corduroy. C O T O R Y. Emblazoned. Emblazoned. E M B L A Z O N E D. Emblazoned. Photogenic. Photogenic. P H O T O G E N I C. Okay. Now we will begin round one. We're going to start on number 75. Sorry, 76. Okay, number one. Bandit. Bandit. B A N D I T. Thermal. Thermal. T H E R M A L. Holster. Holster. H O L S T E R. Topical. Topical. T O P I C I um I C A L. Sable. Sable. S A B L E. Sable. Diplomat. Diplomat. D I P L O M A T. Congratulations for getting this far. Oh, thank you. Okay. Right. okay, cool. We'll start round two. Boodle. Um, could I have a um, country of origin? This word is from a Dutch word. Um, could I have a definition and use of a sentence? Boodle, a collection or lot of persons. A boodle of would-be actors showed up for the audition. Um, boodle, B-O-O-D-L-E. Stethoscope. Stethoscope. S T E T H O S C O P E. Vanilla. Vanilla. V A N I L L A.
Bangle. Bangle. Uh, can you give me a definition, please? A stiff, usually ornamental bracelet or anklet. B-A-N-G-L-E, bangle. <clears throat> Glitz. Can you give me the definition, please? Extravagant showiness. Glitz. G L I T Z. Massage. Massage. M A S S A G E. Earthenware. Earthenware. Can I have the definition, please? Vessels and other utensils or ornaments made of low-fired clay, commonly covered with a non-porous glaze. Can I have the language of origin? This word consists of two originally English elements. Earthenware. E A R T H E N W A R E Waywiser Can I please have the definition? An instrument as an odometer or pedometer for measuring the distance traversed by a walker, vehicle, or ship. Can I please have the language of origin? This word is from a Dutch word. Way wiser. W A Y W I S E R. Chocolate. Chocolate. C H O C O L A T E. Chocolate. Measure. Measure. M E A S U R E. Bonanza. Bonanza. B O N A N Z A. Bonanza. Cruiser. Can I have the definition, please? A large, fast, moderately armored and gunned warship, usually of 6,000 to 15,000 tons displacement. Cruiser. C. R U I S E R Prescription <clears throat> Can I have the language of origin? Originally Latin, this word went through French before becoming English. Prescription P R E S C R I P T I O N Hancho Hancho H O N C H O Icicle Icicle I C I-C-L-E. <clears throat> Mask. Um, as in like the um, Muslim mosque. An Islamic place of public religious worship. Thank you. Um, M-O-S-Q-U-E. Chinchilla. Chinchilla. Can I have the language of origin, please? This word is from a Spanish word that is probably from Aymara or Quechua. Chinchilla. C-H-I-N-C-H-I-N-C-H-I-N-C-H-I-N-C-H-I-N-C-H-I-N-C-H-I-N-C-H-I-N-C-H-I-N-C-H-I-N-C-H-I-N-C-H-I-N-C-H-
H I L L A. <clears throat> Safari. Safari. S A F A R I. Alcove. Alcove. A L C O V E. Alcove. Embargo. Can you give me the definition? An edict or order of the government prohibiting the departure or entry of ships of commerce at ports within its dominions. <coughs> uh, language of origin. This word is from a word that went from Latin to Spanish. Can you repeat it? Embargo. E M B A R G O. Ruin. Um, could I have a use of it in a sentence? Angela was startled by a Bruin attempting to get at the <coughs> bird feeder. The definition is a bear. Oh, um, B R U I N, Bruin. Retrospective. Retrospective. Can I have language of origin, please? The first part of this word is from an originally Latin word, and the second part is an English combining form. Retrospective. R E T R O S P E C T I V E. Geode. Can I please have the origin? This word is from Greek. Geode. G E O D E. Permian. Permian. Capital P E R M I A N. Worrisome. Worrisome. W O R R Y S O M E. Francesco, good job getting this far. Android. Android. A N D R O I D. Android. Grabble. Grabble. Can I have the language of origin, please? This is from a Dutch word. Can I have the definition, please? Move the hand as in searching in a groping fashion. Can you repeat the word? Grabble. G. R A B B L E. Prairie. Language of origin, please. This word came from French, which formed it from a Latin word. Prairie. P R A I R I E. Tycoon. Tycoon. T Y C O O N. Belladonna. Um, could I have you spit in a sentence? Grandfather told Joey that the five foot tall plant alongside the path was a belladonna and warned him not to touch it. Um, could I have a definition? A poisonous plant that has reddish bell-shaped flowers and shining black berries, and from the root and leaves of which atropine is produced, also called deadly nightshade. Um, 
Belladonna. B E L L A D O N N A. Knapsack. Knapsack. Can I have the language of origin, please? This word is from German and Dutch. Knapsack. K N A P S A C K. Bungalow. Can I please have the language of origin? This word is from Hindi. Can I please have the definition? A lightly built single story house or cottage that is usually thatched or tiled and surrounded by a veranda. Bungalow. B U N G A L L O. Cleanser. Cleanser. C L E A N S E R. Gardenia. G-A-R-D-E-N-I-A. -E Igneous. Can I have the language of origin, please? This word is from Latin. Can you use it in a sentence? Obsidian is one kind of igneous rock. Igneous. I G N E O U S Curriculum Curriculum C U R R I C U L U M Curriculum Synonym. Synonym. S Y N O N Y M. Hinterland. Hinterland. Can I have the definition, please? A part of a country or region <clears throat> lying beyond any or all of its metropolitan or cultural centers. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from an originally German word. Hinterland. H-I-N-T-E-R-L-A-N-D. Stucco. Stucco. S-T-U-C-C-O. Stucco. This next word has a homonym. The word is moo moo. The figure of speech, or the part of speech, is a noun. Do you have any questions about this word? Um, could I have a definition? A loose dress worn chiefly in Hawaii, having bright colors and patterns, and adapted from the dresses originally distributed by missionaries to the native women. Moo moo. M U U M U U Moo Moo Layat Layat can I have a language of origin? This word is from a French word. Layat L A Y E T T E Pueblo Pueblo P U E B L O Pueblo Nether Nether um could I have a could I have um definition lower or under 
I have use of it in a sentence? The new police officer soon became acquainted with the nether, crime-ridden regions of urban society. Nether. And, wait, actually, could I have um, um, language of origin? This word is originally English. N-E-T-H-E-R? Hazard. H-A-Z-A-R-D. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is innate. The part of speech is adjective, and its definition is existing in or belonging to some person or other living organism from birth. Innate. I-N-N-A-T-E. Guitar. Guitar. G-U-I-T-A-R. Guitar. Fiery. Fiery. Can I have the language of origin, please? This word is originally English. Can I have a definition? Full of, charged with, or exuding emotion, spirit, or passion. Can you repeat the word? Fiery. F-I-E-R-Y. Ambiguity. Ambiguity. A M B I G U I T Y. Ambiguity. This next word could be confused with a similar word. The word is isobar. The part of speech is a noun, and the definition is a line on a map marking places on the surface of Earth where the height of the barometer reduced to sea level is the same either at a given time or for a certain period. Isobar. I-S-O-B-A-R. Lariat. Can you repeat the word? Lariat. This word could be confused with a similar word. This word, lariat, is a noun, and its definition is a long, light, but strong rope used with a running noose for catching livestock. Lariat. L-A-R-I-A-T. Temporal. Temporal. T-E-M-P-O-R-A-L. Temporal. Potash. Um, could I have a definition? Potassium carbonate, especially that obtained in colored, impure form by leaching wood ashes, evaporating the lye, usually in an iron container used for boiling or cooking, and heating the residue to a high temperature. Um, language of origin, please. This word is from a Dutch word. P-O-T-A-S-H. Diagnosis. I'm the language of origin. This word is from Greek. Diagnosis. D I A G. I'm sorry, can I start over? Diagnosis. D I A G N O S I S. Stipple. Can you repeat the word? Stipple. Can I have a definition, please? Apply as paint by repeated small touches. What is the language of origin? This word is from a Dutch word. Stipple. S-T-I-P-P-L-E. Trauma. Trauma. T R. A U M A Angelic. Angelic. Can I have the language of origin, please? This word is from an originally Greek word that passed into Latin and then French. 
Can I have the definition, please? Resembling, characteristic of, or having the nature of a supernatural spirit commonly depicted as being winged and serving as God's messenger and divine intermediary and as a special guardian of an individual or nation. Can you repeat the word? Angelic. A N G E L I C. Character. Character. C H A R A C T E R. Character. Alfalfa. Alfalfa. Um, could I have a definition, please? <coughs> An important leguminous forage plant grown widely and principally for hay and adapted to widely varying conditions of climate and soil. Alfalfa. A L F A L F A Sarcasm. Sarcasm. Can I have the language of origin, please? This word is from an originally Greek word that passed into Latin and then French. Sarcasm. S A R C A S M. Collage. Collage. Can I have the definition, please? An artistic composition of fragments of printed matter and other materials pasted on a picture surface. Collage. C-O-L-L-A-G-E. Collage. Feldspar. Feldspar. Um, could I have um, the word of, sorry, the language of origin? This word is from a German word plus a German-derived English word. F-E-L-D-S-P-A-R. Animosity. Animosity. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from Latin. Okay. Can I have the definition? Ill will or resentment tending toward hostile action, smoldering enmity. Can you repeat it? Animosity. Animosity. A N I M O S I T Y. Siberian. Siberian. Capital S I B E R I A N. Siberian. Daffodil. Daffodil. D-A-F-O-D-I-L. Huckster. Huckster. Can I have the language of origin, please? This word is from a Dutch word that then became English. Can I have the definition? One that sells goods along the street or from door to door. Can you repeat the word? Huckster. Huckster. H U C K S T E R. Prattle. Prattle. Uh, may I please have the language of origin? This word is from an originally German word. Prattle. P R A D D L E. Prattle. spell one more word correctly. If you spell it incorrectly, the other two contestants are back in. Your word is bequeath. Bequeath. Can I have the language of origin, please? This word is originally English. Bequeath. B-E-Q-U. I'm sorry, can I start over? Bequeath. B-E- 
Q U E A T H. First and foremost, congratulations to all of you. Uh, excellent job, and it, it's just clear that you, that all of our contestants, uh, that you put so much uh, preparation uh, into preparing for today's spelling bee. Um, again, congratulations to all of the contestants. Great job. I think we're all winners today. Uh, but I will share that uh, the winner, uh, what's her? Scott. Scott is our winner uh, uh, for today's uh, Spelling Bee, our district-wide Spelling Bee. And he's going to be moving on uh, to the uh, Scripps Regional Spelling Bee, which is going to take place in February. And we'll get that information to the uh, parents. So uh, we're going to take uh, some time to establish a second place uh, runner-up um, who would also attend in the event that our uh, first place um, you know, winner is not able to attend. So if one of you misses a word in a round and the other one spells it correctly, you do not have to spell an additional word. That person will be the runner-up. Renegade. Renegade. R-E-N-E-G-A-D-E. -E -E. This word has a homonym. The word is ductil. This word is an adjective capable of being permanently drawn out without breaking. Specifically, capable <coughs> of being drawn out into wire or thread. Ductile. D-U-C-T-I-L-E. Matinee. Matinee. M. A T I N E E. Gristle. Can you repeat the word? Gristle. Can you give me the definition, please? Cuff, cartilaginous, tendinous, or fibrous matter, especially in table meats. Gristle. G R I S T L E. Gristle. Cognition. Cognition. Um, could I have use of it in a sentence? New drugs are being developed to improve cognition in schizophrenic patients. Um, language of origin, please. This word is from Latin. Um, definition? The intellectual process by which knowledge is gained about perceptions or ideas. Cognition. C-O-G-N-I-T-I-O-N. <coughs> Fiasco. Fiasco. F-I-A-S-C-O. Fiasco. Contada. Contada. C O N T A D A. Fandango. Fandango. F A N G. F A N D. A N G O.